Hello and welcome to King Pasha's Garage. Today I'm showing you this. My 1962 Ferrari 250 GT Berlinetta Lusso. Probably, you know, said that all wrong. It's alright. I'm not Italian. I'm American. Either way, let's get into this. So there's the share code. Got it? Great. Kind of reminds me of that 335 in the front. That's a Ferrari, isn't it? The 335 Ferrari. Yeah, it's that little... Anyways, yeah, it's a little two-door Ferrari. So I was just thinking of. Either way. As you can tell, I am uh, on top of here. Uh, if you just type in A Drift Best for Handling, instead of putting the share code in, you're going to find me. I'm going to be uh, at the top. Uh, all these other guys here... Uh, that's rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive, rear, rear wheel drive. One all wheel drive, but he's only got under 400 horsepower on him. Rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive. So I'm definitely the m most powerful all wheel drive. Uh, have the, the highest horsepower all wheel drive tune in the game um, for, for that. For just for, you know, drift best for handling. Now, you know, if we go A class drift i'm number one on there too look at that guys how amazing is that so you guys want like the best you know 250 gt tune on the game for all wheel drive drifting if, if that's your thing definitely check me out i think you're gonna really like uh this car it's a blast on um on the car as to drift zone um, I was having so much fun with it five days ago. Um, I, I decided to take a, a few days off from making videos and said, you know what, today's the day. So yeah, I was able to get the video to work and I, I'm very happy. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm in like fourth gear with this thing. So this thing's going to be a blast in the online drift lobbies. And it probably already is, and people have already been rocking it. And that's probably why it's you no know, number one. Everybody's using it. People are liking it. And, that, and I like that. Look at that. Just soaking in all those points. very easy to drift as you can tell you turn the wheel you let off the throttle it's gonna turn the way you want to go it's gonna set you up swing that rear end out and get you ready to go sideways and that 914 horsepower is the most powerful engine um, for this vehicle and it's plenty uh, it doesn't need any more. It, it's super light. Uh -huh. And it just glides uh, across the road with ease. You know, when I first got the 914 horsepower engine, I wasn't sure myself. And I took it, I was like, wow, this thing is sweet. It's got a great second gear, as you can tell, it just revs up so quickly. It does not have a bit of lag anywhere. Now, of course, you can tell the uh, the paint job's different from what I have now, just because I wanted to have that 250 GT 
present in the pic, in the in the screenshot that you guys clicked on. Because this thing is pretty naked on the uh, on the sides. It, it doesn't have any uh, indication of what it is. Even in the back, it just says Ferrari. Uh, it doesn't say uh, 250 GT anywhere. Um, so it's kind of like well, it probably is in the front grill. I haven't looked. But I just noticed on the sides and in the back, it's not there. But we'll, we'll have a look. It's definitely up there in the 1.1s. Um, and yeah, Santa loves it. So, awesome. Uh, let's see first, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have the paint there, you know, I just picked someone's paint job that had it because I was going to paint it myself. I wanted to, you know, just get it once and done, um, but I don't think it says it anywhere that it's a, uh, you know, 250 GT, it just, it's empty. So someone had to paint it on there, um, and like I said, it was... Um, it's not even anywhere here either. It just says Ferrari. It's just, um, really odd for, you know, like pretty much people have to say, um, what is that? You know, I can tell the, uh, I like the, uh, this person, he, he did the, uh, the rims, uh, with the, uh, chrome and the, uh, like the silver or white, um, around it. And it really looks good. Um, with my TC 105 ends. That's why I like these rims. They, you can do that to it and it really looks good. Um, if you do want this guy's uh, paint job, um, you know, at least it shows what it is. Um, it's not perfect in any way, um, but it gets the job done. So as you can tell, that's the guy right there. Um, so if you just need to pause it, write down his, his name there. Um, you know, and I, I give it a like, you know, so, um, you know, just to help him out. He had no download, so that was another thing. So he has a download and a like. So uh, help out the people uh, out there that take the time, even though it was not really the, the best, uh, you know, paint job uh, there. Just I just saw, like, you know, um, the, the side things that you can see a little black bar down the bottom of the by the bottom of the front of the car and the line there is off from everything else um but you know if you don't pay attention to all that kind of detail you know it's it's all right you know but yeah it's, it gets the job done and i get it i get it to the guy who made it and it got the job done for me so thank you so if you watch my videos if you're watching this video Thanks. Uh, car mastery, if you guys want to know, this is the way I went. I went up and over just to get the wheel spin. Okay. Let's get right into everything I've done to this thing. Like I said, it's got the uh, most powerful engine, the 4.5 liter uh, V8 to give me 914 horsepower. It's got an all-wheel drive drivetrain on here. And twin turbo. All right, it's got. I removed the front bumper. Here's what the front bumper would look like, like and that's what I did there. All right, just got the stock there. Didn't want to have the, uh, you know, the spoiler back there. And then also I removed the rear bumper. So tell there's that. That's what I went with. Here we just got a stock tire compound, stock 205s in the front, stock 205s in the back. Of course you heard me, I said I had the TC 105 ends on there, they're my favorite rims. You got 18s in the front and 18s in the back. It's a little bit better than what that looks like. So I, I at least gave you guys some 18s, made it look good. All right, I do have a max track width on the front and in the rear. Um, you know, that's up to you guys. You know, you could do this and see if you get more points. It's up to you. Um, you know, 
uh, the whole reason why I did it was just to maximize the uh, A class to, you know, A800. And it's usually all you have to do. It's just do that and it goes right up to an A800, you know. Just got a stock transmission. Got a race drive line. And a drift differential. It's got street brakes. That's the max you can put on there. At least I gave you guys something instead of going with just stock brakes, you know, in different rim sizes and whatnot. Um, so at least I gave you guys some kind of uh, braking for this vehicle. It's got the drift springs and dampeners on there, so it's as low as you can go. Anti roll bars for both the front and the rear. No roll cage. All right, that takes you right up to an S1 no matter what you do. And it's just got the stock weight reduction. I mean, it's, it weighs 2,373 pounds. It's not bad. That's not bad with 914 horsepower. You can get this thing down to 2,000 and, you know, 36 and a lot less when you, like, take down the rim sizes. And everything. You can make this thing pretty darn light. All right, so just leave it stock. And then everything here is maxed out to get... Uh, all that power. Can you hear that thing? She's a screamer. She really is. Everything all the way through. And then let's see this. We got a race flywheel. So everything in the engine compartment just do all racing are good to go. Let's go look at my tune and show you guys what I did to this thing. So I got 55-55 for that maximum of slide, and this thing does slide. Alright, like I said, it's going to got a 6 speed on here, so this is my gearing. Alright, my alignment is 2, 1, 5, 3, 5, and 7. Now, I just did the uh, S1900, and I just did that tune, so this is the old tune. I'm starting to go to the newer tune to see how it works on the newer cars. So you might see... Uh, the toe from going out to going in. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, uh, that one actually has it to here, and this goes up to here. So that's that's different, you know. Um, so um, yeah, but uh, that's that's the uh, the way I'm starting to go now. Is taking my toe inward now. I'm seeing a lot more points, but for right now, this uh, this. This setup right here on this vehicle works. I don't know how it does with that yet. I haven't tested it. But, uh, yeah, maybe you guys want to. You can more than welcome do that. Um, anti roll bars are just there for show. All right, so one and one. All right, springs are on the soft side just to maximize those points. And then I have my uh, ride height both uh, at 7.5 so just had to bring up the uh, rear just a couple notches to bring it up to even out the car all right dampening is 20 1 and 20 and 20 there is no downforce to worry about no brakes but it has the you know it has street brakes so you know it, it does well and then uh, my differential is 86 76 97 97 and 71% going to the rear and there you guys have it uh but yeah you're gonna see um better alignments coming out i'm gonna I'm, I'm really starting to tweak um these numbers and trying different things uh, my friend lazy is working on differential changes so he's sharing info with me so i might be changing my differential um numbers as well you might not be seeing these numbers um as often so um, been really starting to, you know, tweak on some cars that I haven't shared yet, and uh, I'll get to them eventually. But yeah, so we're we're doing changes here. We're not showing you guys the same tune over and over and over and over again. We're 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 working with you guys, giving you guys the best of the best, um, always improving um, out there. So yeah. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new and you're, you want to see a whole bunch of tunes uh, every week, definitely hit that subscribe. 
you know I, I show off the uh, the new cars um, you know every week that they come out um, you know this one uh, of course is this uh, as you can tell I got up to uh, like 44 points uh, I can't wait to get the uh, Ferrari SF90 should get it on Thursday I should Thursday Friday I should be able to um, you know get that and we'll have the Ferrari uh, Cali T I, 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 I've been tuning that thing since like the earlier fours or motorsports so you know I already have tunes for them and I, I'm just gonna you know tweak them and make them a little bit better um, but it looks like everything's pretty easy here that we're gonna have to do it uh, looks like just some speed zones a trailblazer or two championships so that's not too bad so we'll, uh, we'll have some fun with that not look too bad of, of stuff to do to get it get it all done um, it looks like you're gonna be able to get a uh, a Torino uh, if you haven't gotten it already so that's pretty sweet um, and then yeah there's the Ford uh, you know the Raptor I think everybody pretty much has one of those that looks like it's gonna be I uh, man, you gotta do some trailblazers on that one and then you gotta have to you know pretty much drift it um, so maybe I'll have to uh, come up with a drift tune on Thursday for that and we'll get there uh, I don't think I have one uh, for the 2017 it said 2017 Ford um, probably not uh, there's a 2019 there's a c600 so no I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do uh, something with that for you guys uh, see what I, what I can do um, get that uh, out there right, anyways that's that well, until next time guys Peace out and stay sideways, my friends.